Well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hard Tongue Family Farms, and today it's another freaking cold day, and I forgot my hat, I just realized I'm gonna have to go back to my car. So I'm just getting my car hearts on. It's a high of 22 today, with winds averaging around 20 mile an hour, so the real feel high is nine. So that's fun. I would appreciate some retroactive prayers that we don't have any breakdowns today, because that would suck to work on them in this weather. Either way, we're gonna get rolling. Let's get ready to roll. It's chilly. Oh, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Heart Tongue Family Farms. You got the Bud Band. We finished up last night about 10 o'clock, and we're gonna get after it again today. It should have three trucks going and two combines going. And I gotta head down to Preston to bring the Stagger 400, my favorite tractor, up. Okay, I gotta go out and feed my cats. Scott Weber. Hi, Scott. Hopefully by tomorrow we'll knock this piece out and that piece back there out. Whoa! That's good! We'll put some death fluid in. Okay, we're coming into Preston, Iowa. I had to, uh, well, along with him. Again. Again tater tot casserole and bud band are heading to Preston. Yesterday I had Toady, my good buddy Toad, tax me down. Today I have my good looking sister. Oh yeah. Also we're gonna knock out mine, uh, 30, little 33 acres because the grain mill, which is right over there, closes like at six tonight. So we wanna get all mine because that's where I store mine. That way we get that put away and then we can actually go down to grandmas and store pets down there. Houston. This thing's pretty slick. Wow, that sucks. It's really windy. Those guys are getting the grain cart ready to go. We got the 400 on the grain cart and I'll explain that in a little bit, but uh, let's just say New Holland down. No bueno. I haven't even talked about this much, but we got our AGI bin management systems going pretty pumped about this i'll explain that a little bit later but we finally got our electrician to hook up our uh, our bin manager system we'll be able to watch and see what uh, temperature and moisture is at across the the height of our bin which is going to be really handy for rehydrating beans or corn for that matter cooling corn down As you can kind of see this one's already already running now let's try and start this bad girl up. <sighs> Hopefully she goes. She's cold today. Who doesn't love a good cold start in the morning? That thing was a cold, cold start. All right, guys. Tater Jack Cash from Press Farm. Nathan's just pulled the Steiger head to get some diesel in it. Now we're gonna head out. Combine's right there. We're gonna hop in this thing for a little bit. Brake fluid level too low. That's not good. Probably is a little cold. A little warm up a little. We're gonna go move some bales. So if you guys remember a card in this video right here where I actually pointed out that we have some bales out where the cattle are at. Well, Curtis and I don't all three of us need, all, both of us don't need to be up there with three trucks just sitting around. So I'm gonna uh, go ahead and do this real quick and get some bales moved. So we've been called out of the bullpen. It's a view you don't see every day hitting the ice off the inside of the tarp. That's how we had a little bit of ice on there.
Easy as that. And now I'll back up and hook this up. Last thing I gotta do is return this, uh, this chute back to the guy we were renting it from. Cause we're done hauling cattle for a little bit. So we'll do that and then we're gonna head up to, uh, head up to Bellevue. Combine and grain cart already left. Tate's got a camera today and I just realized my hat. It's not on straight. What the heck? Dryer's running. It's got almost a full wet bin to work through. Hooked up and ready to roll. Southbound and down we go. One neighbor going with a grabber wagon up the field. Other neighbors, two grain carts and one S780 is sitting here. Or is their other ones at? And here's where I'm dropping the shoot off at. Simple as that. Oh, they still got that field to do. That's why they're sitting there. We gotta run away! Get him! No, sir. Oh, wow. Hey, stop it! Not today, sir. A for effort, though. Oh, it's getting caught on stocks. Gotta love ag bags or grain bags. They like to go everywhere if you don't take care of them. Yes, and if you just got up to the Bellevue farm, looks like there's some cows up because the gates were left open. There's Bud Man right there. Going in here with the grain cart. Smokey! I love it. That's a freaking wind tunnel. Checking the dryer real quick. Coming in at 20%. It's leaving only at 50 degrees. Jeez, I thought it'd be a lot hotter than that. So this truck's plenty warm. I'm gonna do my pre-trip, kick tires, check lights, then we're gonna head up to Bellevue. So the heat, heating doesn't work in this truck, so I got this little portable heater, 12 volt. See how well it works. Pre-trip's good. I found where I stuck my gloves, because I'm an idiot. I was looking for them. Let's get out of here. My first field of tillage is done, right here on the right. Jeff got that done last night. Cool. Might plug up there. Yeah. Damn. Gear and boom. Right. Yeah. Another day. Another day spending 250 bucks in diesel. <sighs> First load. With the 400. First time this year. I got my dad's one acre piece done there. Nice. So this is the field we were doing last night. We call this the fishing hole field because we have a public fishing hole right there. We have a lot of people fish on our property. So I'm gonna walk back, start this good truck, let it warm up, take that truck over to the pasture over there because they're doing my dad's corn up on top of not this hill but the one on the other side, that one. And the cows are just staring, doing cow things. That truck was already running, so that's good. Today, because it's just so dang cold, we're not gonna shut the trucks off. Wear and tear on the starter and replacing the starter is not worth about $20 in diesel per truck we'll spend today just idling, so I'm just gonna leave her be. I will say that truck having heat is nice. those cows doing cow things hello cool let's uh go ditch this truck and walk over the other one whoo my hands are frozen getting in a truck with heat's gonna be nice that, i brought a little 12 volt you know car charger plug-in heater and that doesn't do a whole lot what do you do? Hi, mamas. How you gals doing? Enjoying the nice sunny weather? They could be up on the corn stalks right now, but it's uh, yeah. it's way too cold up on top of the hill. That's why they're down in the valleys. This new fence looks nice. Fair warning, if you guys ever drive into this fence, I will hunt you down 
and break off your mirror. Don't do that. We've had two cars in the last five years go through one of these fences. Whoo, oh my land's heat. Like I said, it's probably 15 degrees out right now. And with the wind, it's in the single digits for sure, what it feels like. And having a truck with heat is nice. Corn, pork, sausage, and mashed potatoes. Ah, oh, yes. Probably Bud's last load before he goes to dump. Well, the heat was fun while it lasted, but yeah, Curtis wants to take this truck. Okay. So I just saw him coming. He'll be coming here in about two minutes. We'll just switch trucks. They want to give me the one without the heat. Cool. That is what it is. Not upset. Hopefully that space heater helps a little bit. This seems familiar. This is my dessert today. Grandma must not have had time to make a dessert, so that's completely okay. She's a busy woman. But these are the, this is the candy that I was talking about that kind of tastes like a Butterfinger. You know what I've been talking about? This kind of old, kind of wafer style. I forget what they're called, Nutter Butters or whatever, but this is what I was thinking of that tastes like a Butterfinger tastes like. And there's the Bud Man with the uh, Steiger 400, his old baby. He hasn't ran that thing in two years. So that's uh, good to see that thing running. But it's a bad reason why we had to. So we pulled the new Holland because it, uh, we think it's starting to have engine issues. Going to that in a smidge. I want to eat my nutter butter first. There goes the, the meal wagon. But man is dumping. Maybe Rhonda's giving me dessert. She said I forgot my cookie. Okay. I like cookies. Save you for later. Bud man reliving old times. I did it three times. Like Key cycle? Off. Yeah, so I mean, that's what you've been doing. Oh, we'll switch it. Uh, put the. Is it a flip? Is it. Which one is it? Number two? His spout number two quit working through him a fall. So he's. Uh, I'm gonna go switch it. I know I was. I see him waving a bunch and honking and freaking out because he couldn't uh, shut his gate. So this number three probably threw a fault. This one, so I'll put it to number four. All right, so this one's bad. It's handy having uh, six different hydraulic remotes for cases like this. What? Uh, you can, yeah, might as well. Key cycle usually throws that fault. A little bit of excitement for you, bud man? A lot, too much. Well, we're not out of the clear yet. Hopefully you don't shear a bolt. I think it'll be fine though. What I would do when you're just loading a truck, bump it up to like 13, 1400. That way you get it unloaded quicker. All right, have fun. Hi, mamas. No, you guys can't get through the gate. They decided to wander over here because they probably heard the motion going on. I think you're mine. Yeah, that's my number two. Well, I better lock this up because I don't want the cows getting on the road. And back up that hill, Bubba and goes. So I do apologize, it's the next day, but I never closed the loop of why the 400 is on the uh, on the grain cart, not the 8050. Well, we think the 8050 has an engine problem. So if you guys remember, when I bring the 8050 to full throttle, it threw an air filter restriction warning and it's also made a weird ticking noise. Well, we thought that was just an exhaust leak. We got that patch release looked over and it's still happening. And we think it's also starting to lose power, so that is not good. So we took the 8050 off the grain cart. It's going to be sidelined for the rest of the year. We used it on haul and manure just because it was the only tractor available, and it's a lot lighter duty than a grain cart that had to get another 50 hours on it as opposed to 10. So yeah, now we only have the uh, side 400, which, like I said, it's nice to have a backup. And this thing's ran grain cart for a while, so it's, it's a good grain cart tractor. A lot of power, a lot of weight. You sit up higher so it's easier to do stuff like this we are loading tarp side on the truck that's why the the 8050 is not on the grain cart hi there number two you're the one that had twins this year i like you remember never turn your back on cows especially moms that are gonna have babies soon or i've already i've recently had babies because as you guys know in this video i got uh kicked by a cow that was fun hi mom there's Uncle Bun. You guys might be wondering why the heck that green cart isn't full. We're only doing two, maybe three dumps, half to three quarter green carts to uh, to basically go down. We got a pretty big hill we got to go down, so therefore we're not filling them up all the way. 
Well, back from the cold. Well, he was here nice. Bun just wanted me to unload for him. He's not comfortable with that cart yet. Not a big deal at all. I don't know where he went though. Well, I'm not sure where Bun went. He's walking over to his truck, so I'm hoping he's just going to go bring his truck over here, but I don't know. He might be quitting for the day. I don't know. Either way, let's go ahead and uh, pull that thing out of the way, unfold the auger, call it good, and just kind of see, wait and see what Bun does, I guess. Right here by the gate. Yeah, Bun left for the day, so not sure what I'm supposed to do. So I'm gonna bring the grain cart up on top of the hill, but to do that, I gotta leave the uh, leave these semis parked. Gotta make sure the gate's shut. That way the cows don't get out because they're nosy. Yeah, I'm looking at you, number three. Dead for. Hey, look, the cows are in the cornfield. <laughs> nosy things. Yeah, cows. Cows are in this field. Oh. There's the two combines. Sean's gonna be taking over on this grain cart. His bun's got a date with his wife. Now I gotta creep down this hill. This is just a little goat path to get up and down. Just had a bulldozer basically cut a cut a path through the through the timber at some point. I think this was actually made probably 30, 40 years ago. Didn't really expect large machines to be coming down and traversing it. But hey, two more weeks, guys. Then it'll be deer hunting season. I know I can't wait. Let me know in the comment section if you guys watch my ag videos as well as my deer hunting videos. We'll be hunting this ground in exactly two weeks in a day. Well, I'm unloading now. Rolling. Thanks to Midland for these awesome comms. Go check them out, guys. MXT 115s. That's what we use. I'm going to leave that grain car park. Sean will be here soon. That is that tree pile I made earlier. Nice. Now we're going to take off in this truck. Let's go. There's a little bit of heat in here. Not bad, but a little bit. I should say not warm, but a little bit. Oh, we got a random hitchhiker. Oh, geez. Let's see who this is. Make sure they're not lost. They're kind of out in the boondocks here. Are you lost? Ha <laughs> ha! I thought I'd ride along once. Oh, nice. That is my mother, everybody. Hello. <laughs> First slow with the new driver. Well, mother, how was my ride? Were you scared for your life multiple times? Nope, much better. You're much more mature. What were you saying about the last time you rode with me? You were young, but inexperienced. Oh, gee. Well, I just made it up to the store. So we'll get unloaded. This is dad's corn. Well, I guess I should say your corn. So we're about halfway done with it. Hopefully before dark we'll get done with that field and move down uh, down to the bottoms. Hopefully knock that out and maybe even knock out one of the fields up on top of the hill. We'll see. Got a cow hazard. Yeah. <laughs> Only two of them being good down there. We had to snow. At least we're in a heat of cow. True. True that. Let's show, show the game, mother. Any of you guys play this game? What did you say you started during COVID? Yep, Wordscapes. Wordscapes, and what level are you at? 5200. 5200 on the money. <laughs> How much does a puzzle take? Anywhere from 30 seconds to 10 minutes? Yep, depending on the level of this puzzle. A lot of time. So we're just dumping the front hopper now. It's slow going because everything's cold. That just is what it is. You gotta get out of the way now. Yeah, they're looking at us like they're eating or supper. We're gonna like fall off of that. Well, this is what happens up in the mountain farm this year. Darn cows. Busy place right now. Jeff's in front of me with dad's corn. Got a truck behind me and a truck on the dump right now. Busy, busy place. 
and we send our sincere uh, sympathies and support. That's why we're proud to wear the American East Farmers logo on our helmet. Augusta, South Carolina. Iowa. Cows to try and eat all the corn again. Find out if players. Now this is where you really. They're with you in Des Moines, Cedar Falls, Sioux City. Budman, the cow whisperer, walking him up the hill. It's pretty tight. Down the goat path is what we call it. It's a long ways down over there. All right, Tater Tot here at the bottom of the field at Bellevue Farm. We're trying to get all the cows up top to the top field so we can leave these gates open. So we have constantly semis coming in and out. There's Ron. So we're going to be double dumping on this truck now. Sean's in the 400. And I'm going to dump, finish off on this one. Don't touch tips, Sean. There's Ronald. Right there. One more corn. You getting me footage? Yeah. Good. Don't, hey, don't be shaking the camera. The viewers want to see you, Tate. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. So they're gonna go down to the far side and start picking this 25 acre field. I'm gonna go hop in Jeff's truck because that's warm. This is cold. There goes Sean in the 400. And here I go in this truck because it's actually got heat. So I'm gonna warm up for one. And partially because this gotta go to town. This can't get dumped in pats because we're trying to keep all the grains separate. So all of mine, Curtis's, Nathan's, and my dad's goes to town. And Pat's goes to the farm because that's what Pat owns. It's just much easier to keep it separate. That way I don't take grain from Pat and vice versa. So this has got to go to town and they close at six. Okay, we got mine done up top there. Now we're going to work on this one here. And I have a new driver. It's Tater Tot Casserole. Yep. Go forward, just push it out that way. So. I think this is the first time he's driven a big old 340. You can get over a little bit. Yep. So, okay, what are you going to tell your fans? Uh, ta-ta for now. Ta-ta for now. Chopper did one heck of a job on that fence. I'm going to have to do a little video on that one of these days. No more electric fence. I wasn't doing grain cart and that fence wasn't up. I'd be pounding about 100 tea stakes in there and running wire tonight so we can uh, get the cows in here. But it's supposed to warm up the next four or five days so we get through the night that's why we left the cows up there in that big field i'll leave them up there for about a week so they can uh, clean that cornfield up a little bit they'll get some good eating up there i just walked actually there was 24 of them in there and i just walked up 20 let's see four and three is 23 more so there's 47 yeah, because I'm still missing five. They're out somewhere scavenging in the woods somewhere, so. This truck is just so fun to drive. Just listen to this. Cool. Hey, I got a follow gravity wagon. Nice. Curtis is dumping right now on third line. 15 acre piece here. And we're going up to two top fields up there. That's when we get that done, we're gonna fill everything up, call it a night. The bud man's coming down here, he's gonna come out through here and go dump and I'll have with him. While I hold the gate for him, shots out for now. Yeah, we got a busy, busy place. Truck just pulled in behind me, you got Curtis, this guy with the 757 wagon, me, and one of the gearlock trucks. And another truck pulled in too, that guy. And we're really, really pushing this elevator's limit. Man, we got a lot of people. Three trucks waiting before this wagon. Now they said in videos. Just about emptied out this wagon is. That thing holds about 750 bushels. My trailer holds about 750 bushels. The trailer behind me holds about 750 bushels. And the trailer behind that holds about 1,000, 1,100. There's Nate dumping my trailer. What a guy. Thank you, Nathan. I already got dumped, so I'm gonna go way out and hustle back, hustle down to get a truck and come back because they close at six. 
It's about 4.50 right now. There's Rich. He's just getting back with the load. So I'm going to hustle back and try to get one more truck in here before they close. Jeff should be back here in a jiff. All right, we're up to the pond here. We're uh, taking the fence out. Here comes Jeff with the truck I was running. The old 99 with no heat. Okay, we're across the creek. We're going up top of the big mountain there. I see an airplane flying over top. They're checking us out. So we got this one and this one yet to do. I don't know if we'll get it done tonight. I doubt it, but hopefully we'll get a good chunk of it done. So Pat's unloading and he'll run up that hill there. Any advice there, Tater Tot? Um, dress in layers. It's cold out. He says dress in layers. He's right. And these guys are really moving. We got a light out of us on the Steiger, but Sean is already full. I literally just got, I just pulled in. The good truck's full. These guys are gonna be waiting on us a little bit. Luckily, Pat decided to go start opening up the smaller field, so we're gonna be a little less productive, which would be nice. But still, it's, uh, yeah. we're gonna get behind. Let's go shut this tarp and get moving. making the bushels disappear now so we had a change of plans which is a shocker for those who know us you can see I'm actually at home we decided to take my load home I'm the first one to go home I was gonna go to town that's still five it's 558 right now I could have gone home or uptown the problem is they're slammed they had five trucks waiting Curtis hasn't even dumped yet well he was the first one there so I was he literally was in line by the time I was five minutes gone from there, so I made it 25 minutes down, got loaded five minutes, made it 30 minutes back. He was there for an hour and didn't get dumped. So I just came home. I'm definitely gonna beat Jeff. I might even beat Curtis, maybe, maybe not. But either way, I'm going to hightail it and get dumped. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll basically start taking stuff home and see if we can get caught back up on trucks. So I'm watching the Hawkeye game while uh, in the heat, watching, uh, watching my truck. Ooh, bull, woo! So Minnesota's driving, they're on our 10. They just lost the ball, we got the ball, woo! Go Hawks, five minutes left, 10-10 game. Yes, it's a very uh, underwhelming score, but that's uh, welcome to Big Ten football, at least Big Ten West football. But it's, it's getting cold, it's, uh, well, how, what's the real feel right now? 18 degrees right now, wind's currently at 18 mile an hour, real feel at one degrees, yeah. One, it is miserable out there. It is stupid cold. I'm in long, double layer of long johns, car hearts all the way up and down. Oh, it's cold. Just heading down the hill with the first load off the new field that we just started. Let's go down to the bottom, see if we got any semis to load into. We got a full grain cart and, and me and Bud guessed how much weight and somehow he got right on the money. Exactly, so. 43,000 and it was 43,000. It's kind of bogus, but. <laughs> now the real question is did Curtis beat me or did I lap everybody looks like he beat me but not by much wow uptown is busy 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 place way too busy town messed us up that's for sure Zoom. yeah so the combines are sitting for an hour that's cool we were hauling uptown for my dad's for my dad's corn just because like I said before we keep it separate well because of that they just got really busy and I'm talking like crazy busy the busiest they've been all year busy and that just kind of wrong place wrong time when we were bringing three trucks there we haven't done that all year it's just it is what it is so uh, it was a two hour wait time for Jeff hour and a half for Curtis and we're paying for it so I that's why I made the executive decision just to head home and dump at our pit just to avoid doing that and waiting. Let's run over and get some footage. Never mind, I freaking biffed. I jumped out, went to run, but there's a four inch lip right here. And I just destroyed my knee. Oh, wow, that hurt. Ah. Ah. Doesn't help that the ground's frozen as a rock, but that still hurt like heck. That honestly hurt as bad, if not a little worse, than when I got kicked by a cow in that same knee. That actually is probably why it's hurting bad, but anyway, let's edit some videos real quick while these guys are running. No more uh, running over there and getting footage. Sorry guys, my knee took the 
<laughs> took the took the fall for that one. Father! Are you leaving? No, not yet. Okay. Mother brought me some food. Thank you, mother. Fortunately. What'd you bring me? Chips. Grilled cheese. Two grilled cheese, ham cheese. And a little. cheesy flavored hostess. Yeah, something. <laughs> Here comes Sean, already got a load. Must be some dang good corn. I mean, it's longer rows, good going. But man, he's already loaded. Looks like snow out there. Speaking of snow, we haven't had hardly any snow all day today, which is the first day in a week that we haven't had snow. It's pretty nice. I'm full, heading out. Now we're gonna make the bushels disappear. There goes Jeff. Finally got done uptown. Looks like Curtis just got done dumping. Perfect timing. So then he'll go back and we'll start to get in the rhythm. Because now we're all dumping in the same place. We're all gonna basically start, you know, getting in a cadence every 20 minutes or so, have a new truck rolling here to the dump. Hopefully. Man, I'm walking around with a limp right now. Whew. Ouch. Let's go sit in a nice heated shop for a couple minutes. It's cold out there. I still don't have my hat on right. Whew, I almost feel like my dad. It feels better if I keep my legs straight. And it's my right leg too. Oh, I feel bad saying that. Because for those of you guys who don't know, my dad does not have a right knee. His right leg's about two inches shorter because of a car accident he had when he was about my sister's age, about 21 or so. Had a really good baseball career going. I was gonna go full ride scholarship in division one, and I was getting recruited by the Reds, from what I understand. So that stinks. But if that would have happened, uh, I probably would never would have been alive. And then you guys wouldn't have been able to experience the joy of Hartung Family Farm. See you later. Going over to that one. He's just about done. He's on short rows now. So he'll finish this field tonight. Pat will probably get done up top, hopefully, and then we'll have one more down here in the morning. Bud Band's coming down full. And I am leaving full. See all that steam? Cooking corn. But it's pretty warm up there, too. Jeff's back. This is my last load of the night. Curtis went back for one more. And uh, we'll finish almost all the fields down there, except for one on the bottom. The battery died on that last clip, but our bins are almost full. Uptown is closed tomorrow, so I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna try and hit it hard. Worst case scenario, we drop a pile on the ground. So thank you guys so much for watching. Take, take care, take it easy, stay safe, and ta-ta for now.